today I'm fishing the Alignac River in Alaska. I've traveled over 20,000 kilometers to get here, 20 more steps, and I'm gonna catch some absolute crackers. Morning team. Morning. Let's catch some fish. After an epic boat ride, we'd have to stop many times to look at the bears. You do have the big jobs, yet we have arrived at the fishing destination. What are we fishing for and how are we going to catch them? We're fishing for Arctic char and I'm pretty sure we're using a bead under a float. Sounds like a plan. All right, boys, let's hit the water. So, Jacob, what's the plan? Are we casting towards the bank? Uh, yeah, right at this creek feeds in and you want to be casting right over there. Oh, he said hit. Got him. <laughs> oh, got him yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> that was just beautiful. First cast. We might have to call this first cast hole. Ooh, nice. that's a good All fish, right, Jack. Get that line back on the reel. Oh, he's taking line. That's a good fish. Oh, nice. that's it, Jack. Good boy. Look at that. That is a beautiful char. And this is just ridiculous. I remember coming here years ago, and it was just like every cast, and it hasn't seemed to have changed a lot. No, it hasn't, no. That's just crazy. And when that float gets to the top, jet, you'll have to stop. That's so that's perfect. Beautiful fish. Yes. Hey! Nice! Beautiful! Now, Jet, in future, I'd like you not to take so long to catch a fish. <laughs> Look at that. This is one of the prettiest fish in the river. Look at that beautiful fish. I'm going to ask the tough question. Please explain. Is it an Arctic char or a Dolly Varden? It's a Dolly Charden. What do you think, Jet? <laughs> I think it's a Dolly Varden. For me, char are more bright and a bit more. It's a very contentious issue in these parts, so well, please don't send emails. Okay. <laughs> and there goes a beautiful fish. Yeah, how sweet is he? He's just going to sit right behind my boot, I reckon. Yep. Yep. Because <laughs> that's a safe place for him. There, there is. Nice, nice. Well done, Keep nice. Tight. That's a nice one. Good work. Just keep strip, 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 strip. Don't strip. worry about winding, just strip. And it's a tough thing with fly fishing. Let him go if he needs to, just loose on your finger. And now you should be, oh, now strip, strip, strip. Just keep, keep stripping. Keep, keep him tight, Just fight, that's it, you, that's all you can do, mate. Just keep that rod bent. There you go. Let him take line if he needs yeah, to. Yeah, loose on your finger and, yep, and just, yeah, just, right now you should be reeling. Now you can reel, yep. But let him go if he needs to. Good. It's really, really tough fly fishing. You see here, Jet's got all this line. That's what he's using to cast. And what he's doing is holding the fish and fighting it with his fingers. And now he's picked up the line, he can actually fight the fish on the reel. It's pretty hard for people to get used to, isn't it, at times? Well, there's a lot to remember, yeah. Do you think it's fair to say fly fishing is all about line management? Uh, it definitely is, definitely is. You know the other thing I love about fly fishing? They have fancy terms for things. On that rig, we've got what I'd call a float. But if you're a fly fisherman, it's called a? Indicator. An indicator. It ain't a float. <laughs> That's a really good fish, Jet. Thank you. And that big rod is acting like a big bit of spaghetti just stopping that line from going ping. Got his head up. Perfect. Oh, nice. Hey. Well done, Thank mate. You. That is awesome. It's a nice fish. So why is it you love the char, mate? Oh, their looks, how they fight and how they thrive. There's so many of them. They are here in big numbers. I wet my hands. He's still going. Look at this beautiful, beautiful fish. And he might have had a run in with a bear or something. Look at his tail. He's actually had a bit of a nip there. Would that be a bear perhaps, right? Uh, well, he's a resident fish, so he's been up here for a long time. That could be even something in the ocean. Oh, there you go. What a magnificent fish. Look at those colours. Whoops. It's your Uncle Arthur, isn't it? Nice and slippery. Magnificent fish. So not actually a member of the trout family? Uh, no, the char are uh, part of their own uh, family. There you yeah. go. The family they come from is a very pretty one, though. Well, Jetty, magnificent fish. I'll do the honours for you. Sure is. Look at that guy there. He's going to go very quick. <laughs> that is gold.
One of the things that you probably only truly understand if you're a fisherman is that it takes you to these quirky little places that you would never visit in a million years unless you had the end goal of catching a fish. Behind me, Eddie's fireplace and in. I was just in there. Seriously, that is one cool joint. So this char rig is quite unique. You've got your fly line, which is weighted. That goes down to your leader. That is called an indicator. I call it a float, looks a little happy face. And then this leader is tapered, so it gets skinnier and skinnier until we hit a bit of split shot. Then even lighter leader again, down to a bead. Now that bead actually represents a salmon egg. And then on the bottom there, a tiny little hook away from that. So when they come in to hit it, bang, nails them every time. Nice. Oh, hey, nice. beauty. Now that was interesting. We tried a new technique and it yeah. worked straight away. How often do you find that, Jake? You're just trying something different. Uh, it's just new water. Yep. Uh, fish are holding in different spots, definitely, yeah. And what we did there, we literally let line out, did the cast, but just kept stripping line out to let this egg or this bead literally float down to where we hadn't fished before. And as soon as it got down there, we got nailed. This thing's got a bit of weight, mate. Good. So you'll just see I'm fighting the fish on the line, almost like a hand line. Just stripping it through my finger there. And if the fish goes, I just let line go through. I just find it easier than trying to pick up all that slack line. And this rod and reel is way different to what you use for the big fish. It's a Loomis, oh, it's a Loomis NRX. Little half and six weight reel. All things in fly fishing are measured in weights. And the line is a weight forward six floating. A lot of the salmon lines we use, you actually have weight to get them down, but this is weighted forward and then floats on the surface, which is ideal for this sort of fishing. Now, he must be solid, because I can't budge him from there. I haven't even seen him yet. I haven't seen him at all. Oh, see him now. Nice. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go too hard on him, but I don't want to puppy dog him either. You could turn his head down the river a little bit. Just try and swing him. That's there we it. go. Well played. Oh, he's got some weight. He has got some weight. He's a beautiful fish. Oh, look at look that. Look at the coloration on that. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. That is a nice fish. Look at that. That's a beautiful shark. How big do they grow on these parts? Oh, uh, we get them up to about five, six, seven pounds, yeah. Wow. Imagine a fish that big. Jet, were we in Sweden we caught that massive shark? Yeah, you got an 11 pounder in Sweden. An 11 pounder, that was in a lake, so different fish. Yeah. But these are as wild as fish physically gets. We're in the wilderness. How amazing is that and how damn pretty. <laughs> He's a fighter. Yep. We know what you'd rather be doing. We know what you really got in mind. We know you'd rather be out fishing And today's the day you're gonna wear the line Cause every day's a good day Stop wishing Every day's a chance to drift away Drift away Every day's a good day for fishing See you down and tackle world today Instinct has been producing quality terminal tackle and fishing line for almost a decade now. And the Techline monofilament is one of those products. The Techline monofilament is a new formulation that produces a supple line with limited memory. The technical advances in the copolymer construction of the line ensures a combination of low stretch, high abrasion resistance, good knot strength, thin diameter, and comes in a great low visibility green color. It ranges in size from six pound all the way through to 50 pound. The line is UV stabilized and comes in a massive 300 meter spool. So if you want quality line on your reel, head to your local Tackle World store. And to find that store, visit tackleworld.com.au. Tackle World stores are owned and operated by locals who actually fish. Their advice is priceless, that's why it's free. At Tackle World, every day is a good day for fishing. at a place called Bird Creek and the fishing is going off. And from what I can see, they're catching chum, silver and pink salmon. From what I understand, if they jagged anywhere on the body except for the head and mouth, they must be released. The Alaskan salmon season is a very short window so the locals are trying to make the most of it. 
So just over there, we were catching some beautiful Arctic char. Chris, you were sitting in the boat taking photos and you noticed some big red submarines over here. What do you reckon they are? <laughs> they could only be one thing in this part of the world and that's a big king salmon. We've got the man who knows how to catch them, so let's go do it. So we've got some king salmon sitting here. I can literally see them. And they're holding up in these pools. Are they, Jacob, ready to move up the river? Yeah, they, they like the deeper holes uh, they stage before moving up to spawn. Give him some, you've got to get him around. You've got it. Holy snap and duck droppings, Christy. Oh, no. oh, yeah, now listen to Jacob. I think you want to get the rod tip back this way. Hang up. Whoa. Yeah, you want to get into the yeah, slower water. Yeah, go this way. Keep rod tip, rod tip this way. It's a big fish. That's it. You want to try and pull the fish around this way. Rod tip low and towards the downstream shore. Anytime he gives you anything, you need to take it for, from him. Okay. So we're fishing 20 pound test. Yep. He's probably a little bigger than 20 pounds. But uh, we want to try and turn his head down river and into this slack water whenever he gives you anything. Okay. This is a king or Chinook salmon, and uh, these fish grow to almost 100 pounds. In fact, I think the world record is about 94 pounds. He's actually got a mate sitting there with him. Whoa. And uh, this is an absolute Scary. brute. That's it, that's it. Keep coming, keep coming, keep the rod tip far left. That's what you want to do. That's good, that's good, that's good, Dar. That's it, that's it, go. It's his turn, his turn, that's it. Keep coming, keep coming, keep, that's it, good. He's coming, he's coming. You're doing well, Dar. He's still. He's still got his head and that's a big fish. Oh! Let him oh. go, let him go. That's a nice. big fish, well done. Oh, one, 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 one. That's it. And back up that way, back up that way. Turn it back all the way, back that all way, the way. With the rod. We try, we try, we try, we try. That, that way, that way, that way. Good, good, good. That's good, that's good. Oh God, oh God. That's a big fish, real, real, real. Just remember to let go. Let, yeah, let go when he wants to take it. Keep that rod up a bit. But he's coming towards you now. Back this way. You're good, you're good. Now lift slowly, transition high. Reel a little bit more. Good, now let, take your hand off the reel. Yes. Try and lift his head up out of the water. He's not gonna like it, he might go. Keep him coming this way. Reel down. Go. Okay, now stop. Now try and lift his head high and out of the water for me. Oh! That's fine, that's fine, let him go, let take him go. Take your time, take your time. <laughs> and the same thing this way, same thing this way. Lift his, Lift head. his head up out of the water and turn him down this way. Yes! Nice! nice. Go, go, go. Jacob. That is a <laughs> cracker! Well done, look at that! Okay, okay. That is why they Let's call them <laughs> the king. Jump in, darling. What a stellar effort. Oh my gosh, look at that colour. Look this thing. at that for a fish. I know I keep saying that, but these things just turn the most incredible colours. Oh my goodness <gasps> me, what a fish! That is Thank just Thank you so much. Epic. That is what that is just what dreams are made of right there. <laughs> it certainly is. Beautiful fish. Big king Sam, we can see him in the river literally over here catching char. Turn around, cast. Is that your biggest salmon you ever caught, Christy? Yeah, 100 percent This no guy's probably about 20, 23 pounds. Yep. That is. And will he get even redder as he goes up? Uh, he'll get redder as he gets ready to spawn. He's probably about a week and a half away from spawning right now, yeah. Oh. That is one of the most memorable days fishing I have ever, ever had. Thank you to ATA Lodge. I will never forget this fish and this moment. We're ready I'm, to let I'm it go. Yeah. When you are ready, Darl, it is just one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Thank but you. There's only one thing I can do, and that is salute that fish. <laughs> that is awesome. Love your work. This boating and fishing tip is brought to you by boatsales.com.au. I've just spent two days fishing for Murray Cod in country Victoria, Shepparton and Nagandi. We've had temperatures of 37 and 38 degrees. I filled this angle cooler with a bag of ice and some drinks two days ago. It sat in the car with the windows up all day yesterday. When I got back to the vehicle, it was 48 degrees inside, and today it's been in the boat. I could not believe it before when I opened it up. Of course, the drinks, they are still icy cold, but I still have half a bag of my original ice. That is just mind blowing, seriously. It has blown me away, and today when I was on that river and I wanted a cold drink, there was no better thing. Gave me that extra bit of energy to catch another fish. So if you're going to spend time in warm climates, make sure you've got a serious bag or esky so your drinks are always super cold. This boating and fishing tip was brought to you by boatsales.com.au.
got some blueberries. At ATA Lodge, gooseberries, raspberries, salmon berries and blueberries all grow wild here. So if you're looking for a healthy snack, it's never too far away. Let's see what the kitchen can whip up with these. So basically it's the cast out swing and I'm just waiting to try and feel anything that's different to normal. That breeze has got up too. Hey, that's fish. Oh. Yes, Paul. He's tracking up. He's kicking go, up. Go, Paul. Go, Paul. Go, one. It's a good, it's a good fish. <gasps> it's solid. He actually took that. Oh, he actually nice took that and fish. swung upstream. Oh. Nice, he right? Yeah, I think I'm he's going. solid. Look at that. Nice. I don't even know if he knows he's hooked yet. He has just taken station, and this could be another monster, I reckon. Good job. Oh, how's the power? <laughs> nice okay, fish. Turn, turn, turn him into the soft water over here. That is a big I'm king. I'm going to go get net. I'll be right back. <laughs> OK, it's a big king. Good work, Polly. When Come that on. red comes up, it is just the greatest feeling of all time. And Christy, you know what the ironic thing is? What's that? Today is the last day of the king season. I know. Really? <laughs> can, you, can you explain that for people? OK, so there's a limited window. It's one month to fish for kings. But where we are on the Alignac, they take a while to get up here, so it's probably only a three-week window up here. And then, of course, you get us that fly from Australia, and it's only a one-week window. And <laughs> so... king season closes on the 31st of July. Yeah, And it is about is... 5 p.m. on the 31st of July, so I've only got seven hours to get this guy in. But it how's... makes it more exciting. How's the power? I can actually feel his tail when he kicks through this rod. Look at that. I can see I can his big see tail just came up. I'm going to try and bring him in this calmer water because in that current I'll never stop him. And uh, I've got a serious rod here. It's a 10 weight fly outfit. Fishing rods are very confusing when it comes to fly fishing, but it's a 10 weight rod, it's a 10 weight line, and a 10 weight or size 10 reel. And this line, Jacob, heavy line. Yeah, yeah. We got uh, about 10 feet of T14 in front of it to get the fly down. So it's really about getting the fly right down in front of these kings because they're down deep. They love these deep pools, they hold in the pools. And he's due to spawn about one week's time, so no harm will come to him, no matter what. He's going back if we're lucky enough to see him. So I just put as much pressure. Oh, he just turned in. I got his head. Oh, I just saw a big dorsal. I just saw a big dorsal fin. And people might notice I'm actually whining with my left hand, Christy. Yeah, I had the joy of doing that too. It's good fun, you know what? I actually enjoy it on a big fish, I don't even notice. Well, it was good in terms of my right, because I am right-handed, I had more strength to use with the rod, which is what you need. Yep. But it's there just getting is. your mind to use the left hand on the hand tool. It's a little tricky. Oh, look at that, Look Paul. at the size of that fish. <laughs> on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for everything iFish TV. And don't forget our website, iFishTV.net. All right. Come on. Yes! yes. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Christy, you may be the queen, but now I am the king. Okay, stand up straight. <laughs> Wow, I'm so happy for epic, you. That's epic so fish. good. Oh, look at Could you him. hold my rod, honey? I certainly could. Thank you. Well done, Jacob. Well done. Flies out, is it? Fly in. No, no, that's the tube fly. The tube fly. Look at the size of that fish. That is absolutely epic. Thank you, my friend. My hands are wet. He is, he like is a raspberry. solid. I'm actually going to just kneel down because I don't want to fall over holding this fish. Oh, I reckon he's nudging 20 pounds, probably 18. And to think that he was a bar of silver only weeks ago, and now he's this beautiful colour, Christy. Is that one of the greatest things you've ever seen? Yeah, absolutely. Well, absolutely. I'm absolutely sold. You must come to ATA Lodge. Connect Gary Barmy Angling Adventures, because at some stage of your life, you must encounter the king. Today's episode is proudly brought to you by Tackle World, boatsales.com.au, and fair income sheds.